Good afternoon, it is 1.25pm on Sunday the 30th of June and it is time for today in my bujo. So how are you? Are you having a good day? I'm tired, I'm exhausted, I had a bad night, I had a bit of a weepy night really. So um, I'm very, very tired. Our eyes like Ugh, out here, and um, I'd like to go to sleep, really. But that ain't gonna happen anytime soon. So yes. So I did my night face cream and my hands when I went to bed. Um, did that? I didn't label it. So that was twenty nine. steps yesterday weren't chronically high because I wanted a lazy day and I bloody well had one <laughs> so you know that's how it is 5,155 okay last night I did a sweep the floor You know, every little thing I've coloured, I've actually gone over by a smidgen on each one. It's been so frustrating. Um, I did a word, and I didn't have anything to tick off, so that's all right. And what did we do at the end of the book? I stuck in a photograph of Daryl playing with the dog, and I did a bit of journaling, and that's it. So. Let's change the pen. And jump back to the beginning. I have done my day face cream. one but I think by the time I fell asleep and everything it was more like half past two so I'm gonna put there and then I was awake for a wee bit in the night and then I woke up about eight o'clock this morning It was a horrible night. It was a shitty horrible night. And I am beyond done with the kind of night that that was. I kept meaning to do a graph where I've done the numbers to make it a bit easier. You know where I've done like this whole grid of just numbers. Make it easier when I get down here. And then I could just highlight the numbers but keep forgetting to do that. This is alright, this this works to a point I suppose. Does the job doesn't it? I can see. What I'm supposed to be putting where. But you know if you've seen any sleep trackers that you want me to have a go at test out for you. Give me a shout and I'll um, gladly do so. I've got a bit of a headache so I'm a bit like everything seems a bit out of focus. Let's clean my glasses just to make sure it's not that. But you know what I mean just like my eyes are tired which doesn't help. I have a pounding headache. My vet goes playing up a bit as well, which doesn't help. Right. 
I've been a busy girl this morning. I have stripped the beds. I've done the laundry. I've cleaned the loo. I've cleaned up in my office. I've cleaned the bathroom. I've vacuumed upstairs. And I've vacuumed downstairs. I've also scrubbed the carpet and by the front door. And dogs getting a bit old and she doesn't alert me when she needs to go out at night anymore she just comes down and piddles by the front door and all of a sudden you notice hmm, I've got a stained carpet by the front door and it, it's obviously it's her do you know what I mean so um, yeah every now and then I have to give it a good old scrub and um, Yeah, I've done that as well today. Hoovered down the road. It's been a busy, busy day. I've just, you know, I've just noticed. <laughs> this is totally confusing. That the back cover, I haven't rounded the corner off. Of that. That's my future log. Oh, that's mad. <laughs> oh dear. It's only on the. I wonder if that just didn't go or what? <laughs> I just noticed it, so I was like, uh, what's going on with that? A bit messy there. Uh, see, I've trimmed too much now. It's a trouble, isn't it? You should learn to leave well enough alone, Sam. It's spilling over a bit there. Look, I shall have to tidy this up because it's now, it's bugging me. Yes, it's nice and quiet because Daryl's watching Wally for the 67 billionth time. So he's nice and distracted. Right, we're all caught up for now. Um, I need to do the... the last day. So the challenges are... I haven't done the weather. I have to go back and do the weather. I have to do a banana, Jupiter, and goodness. Oh, um, yeah, April pulled me up on this, and um, I had realised after I'd uploaded last night, I'd forgotten to do the words. So I did them in after after I, I signed off last night. I'm really pleased to have that came out. It looks really nice. So, yeah. But I keep forgetting to do the, right, the written bit in. Which is bloody annoying. But there we go. Mom, so, Wally's not finished yet. Is Wally finished yet? Not yet. Oh. Hi. Hi. I like that book. On fire. That's, that's my meteor, that is. That's what that is. That's a rock on fire. Is that a rock on fire? <laughs> it's a yeah. rock on fire, YouTube. There you go. Now you know. Okay, so the weather. He's obviously forgotten you were there and he's gone off to just check on Wally. Right, there are a couple of clouds about. I mean, that says it's really cloudy. It's not. It's just like floofy, floofy clouds. Like that one. I may, due to sheer bulk, um, move my books around. Because even though this one's finished, I do like to keep like the last month or so in my book just for, you know, quick access really. Um, but I may put it, because this one is so freaking bulky, because I've put a lot in here this month. I may um, put this at the back and put July's in front because then I won't have to sort of skip past this. I actually did take out April and May. So yeah, there you go. There's April and May. How chunky they are. And the cool thing is, is May ended up being chunkier than April and that was on Tomway River paper. So I'm really pleased about that. But yeah, that was April. It was my first sort of being in a TN book. And then I did May in it on Tomway. And uh, I really like how chunky it ended up being because I packed it full of shit, you know. And this one is even even chunkier. Um, 
so yeah I think I'm going to swap June and July and it just saves me having to flick past this every time and then it'll be there and it'll be in the middle ready to go so yeah I think I might do that but anyway I was doing the weather right let's have a look 22 high and low of 12 I'm determined to get as much as possible out of this bloody pen before it dies. I've got more, but I hate that I'm not heavy handed with them, but I really hate that the um, nibs wear down on them. You know, I mean, hang on, let me see if I can get the focus right in. I'm quite chuffed actually, because I have just figured out how to f stop the auto zoom on both of my cameras. Uh, right, the autofocus rather. Let's get right up there. Right, this is my pen, okay. Look at that nib, there's barely anything left, but there's loads of ink still. And that annoys me that they wear down that much. That's a bloody good zoom on that, actually. So, I'm like, ugh! You know, so I'm determined to use that until it freaking dies on me. Absolutely determined. Until I can't use it no more. Oh, I must order a new palette to put all these Jane Davenport's in so that they're all in one palette. Because it just annoys me I have to keep putting out multiple palettes. I mean, I did when I first started bullet journaling. I used the, um, the, uh, microns and they were all right you know but i had the same issue with them but i wouldn't say i'm especially heavy-handed with my pens so i'm a bit miffed that the nibs wear down as fast as they do does anybody not have that problem have you had the ink run out before the nib has died For anyone that's interested, my flowers in the garden are doing well. The um, the wisteria has gone bananas and is growing like a, oh, like a wisteria, really. And uh, the pinks that I planted in a couple of days ago have obviously taken hold because just all of a sudden they just perked up and like are looking really, really cool. Um, the fuchsias, they dropped a load initially, but that's probably because they've been disturbed and they don't like to be disturbed fuchsias they can be a bit temperamental but no they're in and they they seem to you know they seem to be holding their own so yeah we'll see and i've planted some osteo somethings they look like daisies but they're all different colors someone's gonna know Spermums, spermums, osteosperm, does that sound right? Osteosperm, oh fuck, I've got to look that up now. Because I can't remember what they're called. Spermum, there you go, osteospermum. <laughs> That's what she said. And they are, they're these. And I have some pink ones and some purple ones. And I think there might be some white ones in there as well. We basically, we've got like a mixed lot like this. Hang on, my focus is off. We got a mixed lot like this. And mum bought like 15 odd plants and I got three. <laughs> and she's planted the rest in her garden. Even though she's got no freaking room. Yeah, she's planted the rest in her garden. But they're apparently really easy to take cuttings from. So once they've established and grown a bit, hopefully next year I'll end up with a shitload more. So that'd be really good. Um, so at the at the moment, my garden looks really funny because I've got my lawn, which is basically edge to edge weed. Dandelions, don't you just love the fucking things? Um, and then I've got this border that I've dug up around the edge or around part of the edge. And then every now and then you've just got this tiny little plant. <laughs> And then you've got a big fuck off gap and then you've got another tiny little plant and i'm talking like some of them are you know itty bitty bitty things really small and it just it looks funny and then you've got you come to this thing and my wisteria has gone ah and it, <laughs> so yeah there we go right um 
I'm going to sketch up quick for the last day and then I will hyperlapse it and um, get that all ready before the evening edition tonight. Uh, pretty much like I did with yesterday's. Um, I don't know if anybody watched yesterday's, it was quite long. Oh, well, yeah, I know some of you did because you commented. Thank you. Um, yeah, I might do it that way because and that means I can sort of do it in the afternoon while I'm watching other channels and and all of that lot and then I'll add it in on the evening edition excuse me I'm so tired I can't even remember what the prompts were now a banana is it Jupiter? well that's easy I can do that. It's, the only trouble is, when you're doing prompts like this, you end up repeating yourself, if you noticed. Because I'm sure I did a banana, like, in this month. Because Daryl pointed at it the other day when he was... There you go. Look, see, I did a banana there. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm. You do. You kind of get to the point where you think, I've already drawn one of those. And it was a month ago. So, I love these. I love having it a month per book. And I can't wait for next year to tie it into the future log. And that's going to be my, my collections and my future log all in one go. So I won't have either of these two books next year. Because I won't need them. It will all be in the one book. Well, in the... 13 in total books, do you know what I mean? Because this will cover my um, my collections and my calendar. Um, somebody, I, I've had a few suggestions on this blank page. Uh, you know, quotes and, and a saying and all that. Lot. I don't really do that um, because I've got the resolutions page. I'm going to leave it blank because there's six months yet. Well, five months because, you know, we're at the end of June. There's, the, I've got the rest of the year to go through yet. And another collection might jump up and sort of say, hmm, what about, you know? So I may well add something in here. Hopefully it will only need a single spread, but there you go. Um, yeah, I am also going to incorporate like a notes section maybe down, down the side of my calendars where I can and most of them there's there is room because I could write you know February across there um, you know or in there for March just so that I've I can forward plan I suppose really that's the whole point of each log isn't it you know, just in case like somebody says, oh, you know, well, if you haven't heard from us by the end of September, let us know. Uh, well, I don't want to take up room in the box because the boxes aren't that big. I do my boxes six by seven cells on dot grid paper, five mil dot grid paper, which they're great. You know, don't get wrong. That's how I do my monthly calendar. Or, and it, it does fit nine times out of ten. But when you're yearly planning... It ends up looking like this and it can be quite messy so i may just need that little bit of extra room here you know oh note to self you know have i heard from you know the plumber or whatever so yeah anyway um that reminds me speaking of a plumber i got a plumber coming next week Oh, it is Sunday, isn't it? I should sing up, shouldn't I? I, sh I should check my fucking diary, really, shouldn't I? There's me rushing off ahead. I'll do that tonight. It's finished. Has it finished? I better go and put a new film on then, hadn't I? Yes, we'll sit. We'll sync the diaries up tonight and Mom, get all I do that need done. The toilet. Okay, you run off to the toilet then. I'll be in in a minute. Okay. Um, yeah. So I will see you all in the evening edition. I, I burbled a bit there. We gotta do some more stuff. I may cut it off. Put oh. more Put your thumbs up. Next. Comments. We like comments. Leave us a comment. Click the book. And then click the bell. And then we'll face you in.
New new content. Yay! All right, I'll see you this evening, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye. Mr. Page. That explains why there's no bleed through from the fountain pen. Because I skipped a page. That's right. I'm going to journal in here. That's fine. Whatever. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. So. Let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, as you can see, I just did the challenges. You should be in bed asleep. I apologise about that. Daryl, who should be asleep because it is now quarter to ten, heard me talking and came running downstairs because he knows I'm talking to fucking YouTube. Right, so I did the challenges. I have not had booze. I have had fizzy and caffeine though. I had a bottle of Dr. Pepper earlier on. Is that right? Do face cream, did I wear makeup, challenges, booze, fizzy caffeine. No chips today. I have crafted and I will do the word in a minute. Tomorrow, I can film a tube flip through. Um, right, today, my mood had a bit of a crash with it last night. My mood, that is, not my car. <laughs> So I guess it's going to be at, I'm going to put it at a five. Because I've been mostly okay today, I just feel a bit delicate. Oh, I'm looking forward to waking Daryl up really early tomorrow now. Pain, actually it's been really, really good. Um, so let's bring that down to a four, I think, the pain. Mainly again, because I haven't really ever done it. I've done a lot of chores. Um, and we went for a walk around the block with my mum this morning. Uh, my mum has advanced AMD and she's actually blind in her left eye. She's also started to suffer from vertigo and it's made her frightened to go outside. And her mobility isn't great, but she does try and walk around the block every day, um, weather permitting. And her breathing, she's got COPD. If her breathing's good, she tries it. But she's she's now frightened to do so. And, and I get that. So I said to her, you know, I'll come down in the morning and, and I'll take, take you for a walk. And she hates it because she's lost her independence. And I get where she's coming from. But, you know, I've also, I've, I've been there, um, I suffer from chronic pain and my mobility tends to come and go. Um, you guys have only ever seen me when I've been good, you know, and I'm getting a lot of steps. 
uh, before I had Daryl, I could barely move. You know, um, I would literally sit at home all day because I couldn't go out because it hurt too much. <coughs> um, so I understand where she's coming from. She wants to try and keep some measure of mobility and um, the route to my house from hers. It, so we literally live either side of the block. Yeah, so you've got like this, this, this block. Yeah, I live here and she lives here. So she can come out of her house and walk around this way. And then she can sort of take this sort of little shortcut and come up here. So she sort of can cut this bit off here, really. And um, she there's a shop here and she sits in the sun for a little bit. And then she comes to mine, she has a cup of tea. And then she walks back down and around to hers. And the whole thing's about a mile, maybe a bit less than that. Um, it's, it's probably a lot less than that, but it felt like a mile this morning at her pace. So I went down and I walked, walked it with her. I need to actually measure it properly at my pace to find out what it is. But you know. So I tried to do that with her. Um, we did that this morning and then I came home and I did some laundry. And hey, I was on it, guys. You would be impressed with me today. <coughs> I have. Well, as you know, this morning I did the loo, I stripped the beds, I did the laundry. I've done my office, I did the bathroom, I vacuumed upstairs. I have done Daryl's table. The dishwasher is loaded and ready to go. The worktops are done. The floor is swept and the floor is mopped. So I think I'm going to put that in tomorrow's that I've already mopped the floor because I don't want to do it two days on the tray, it doesn't need it. So this is my July book. It's out because I'm in the process of decorating the cover and it's a bit damp. So I'm trying to be careful. So I'm actually going to colour in that I have mopped the floor. Just so I know it has been done today. So yeah, I'm just going to leave that there to dry for a sec. I shall have to dig out my, my little piece of um, paper that I was using for blotting. If I haven't cut it up and used it for something else. So there you go, full house guys, yay me. I've not cleaned the oven, so that needs to be done. I haven't done anything in the kitchen and I haven't actually done it in the inside of the windows this month. <sighs> I suck. <sighs> My word for today is thank fuck it's over. Meaning June is that, thank fuck June is finished. Um, okay, let's just write chores. If I can't write, thank fuck June's finished. And thank fuck June is done down in the corner. Because, you know, it's my journal, and if I want to write thank fuck June is done, then thank fuck June is done. Okay, so I've done, excuse me, I've done the work week hustle and the scores. Oh dear. Let's just have a quick, a quick sync up of the diaries. I really need to be looking at next month then, don't I? Oh god, here we go. Loads of shit to write in. Okay. Info evening at school. Stay and play at school. On Tuesday and Wednesday. Juicen's delivery. Not Juicen's, I don't know why I put an eye in it. Um, Juicen's sell hardware timber. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're having a delivery to the big house for. Um,
for Merc where I haven't done. Which is like more fucking money. And my bathroom gets to wait even longer. Um Yeah, I've got the dates to stay and play here so I just want to triple check that I am right in the right fucking dates. Because I know what I like. Yeah, second and third and the eleventh and twelfth, there you go. And they've got a, oh shit, they've got a trip or something. How the hell did I do that piece of paper? Right, let's worry about that in a minute. Um, the boiler's been so... Oh yeah. That day is out of bounds for everything else. Damn, now... Ah! Oh, he came home with... Some sports day stuff. He's got a sports day coming up. What the hell did I do with a bit of paper? Oh, my giddy aunt. Um, see, I am awful. I really am. My mum told me today she's worse than I am. So thanks, mum. That's uh, that's uh, great for my self-esteem. I'm a shit parent because I forget things. Uh, what's your excuse? <laughs> I didn't say that really. I um I don't have a death wish. Ah, uh, let's have a look what we got here. Mm, ah, oh, you know what? I put things down and then I fucking lose them. I am a nightmare. Hang on, is this it? Ah, yes, a trip. Trip and sports day and a cake sale. Well, the cake sale can go fly because I don't have the time at the moment. Right. Um, right, let's write it in here first. 11th of July. So I need to pay some more money for that because. And then the 4th of July. Which is this week. Oh shit. Sports day. Oh man. Okay. So, I need to get something to make, because this leather is so freaking soft. I can't just slot my pen in without using two hands. Right, so let me grab my dull colored pen. Now, so the 4th of July, which is this week, at 1.30, sports day. And then the trip is on the 11th, before stay and play. Is that for the whole day? Disposable pack lunch. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. Um, I need to buy him a backpack. I'll get, get him one. Sun cream applied on arrival. Sun hat. Take sun cream with him. Change of clothes. A waterproof coat. Socks and shoes that are comfortable for all kinds of plate. He's literally only got sandals. Long trousers must be worn. Suitable clothing for all kinds of play. Disposable pat lunch and a drink. No lunch boxes. All items in a backpack suitable for your child to carry during the day. Oh, for fuck's sake. They gave us that last week. Talk about, you know, not enough notice. Right. So, sports day is on Thursday. What time did I say? One o'clock. bonkers couple of weeks coming up what with the um the uh right so my a backpack so he's going to need trainers is what they're saying
he's just like his last pair of trainers fell apart and I thought I'd just get him sandals because that'll do for the summer now it looks like he's going to need some fucking trainers what else does he need he's got a sun hat he's got sun cream he's going to change coat he's got a waterproof coat socks and shoes his sandals aren't going to be good enough for a whole day of running around in a wood it's like going to like woodland area long trousers must be worn super good so a pair of jeans Disposable pack lunch and a drink. Meal deal from Tesco. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh dear. Right. Tell you what else I haven't done, and that is to write in a few extra bits and bobs into next week. What else do I normally put in the week, please? <laughs> I know I've forgotten quite a lot of them this, this month. It's like I haven't written down in the week, please. The, um, I've been forgetting to write the name of the challenges. It's been a bit annoying. I've done it all month. Oh, I've found the stay there. <laughs> Some of fun. Yeah, I forgot to write it after. Oh no, mix there. So I didn't write last week's. Which was... I'm just going to check. I don't have enough table space. That is me done for today. Oh, no it's not. April's going to be screaming right now. She's going to be screaming. She's going to be saying, Sam, you haven't done it. You haven't done it. You haven't done the word, Sam. OMG. Tearing her hair out. Right. Doopa doopa doo. So, I can delete that one. And I can delete that one. And the last word is goodness. Goodness gracious me. Okay. Now, Amber. Amber, I think it was. Somebody asked um, what challenges I'm doing for July. I am doing the Bilingual July hosted by Kali underscore graft and the underscore artistic underscore revolution. Hashtag the bilingual July. And the idea is, is that um, you write the words, but they also give it to you in Urdu. No, I don't know where I do, do but I just, I just thought it was a good idea. And I, the words look like they might be quite fun to write. So I'm going to have a go at that. So there's that one. There is mermaid's logic handwriting challenge so yes i'm doing two written challenges this this month then there is the july doodle challenge by paper.t.party hashtag doodle with andrea and that's a harry potter one don't know how far i'm gonna get with that one okay because it could get quite complicated but we'll see and then there was another one um, by elizabeth.kramer.art and she used to be artsy doodles she's the one that does them every other every other day um, and hers is travel based it's called destination july um hashtag artsy doodles july hashtag artsy doodles challenge um so it's things like tickets passport brochures camera tourist spot number one i don't know what i'm gonna do about that Souvenir shopping. I don't know what I'm about that either. A local park, a hotel, tourist spot number two, a local market, food truck, a street performer, tourist spot number three, pub barber. I may not do that one. I haven't. It's in there, but I'm sort of. I'm looking at it, thinking, "Fuck me." Do you know what I mean? That might be quite hard, but yeah, the, the Harry Potter one. I quite like the idea of.
so yeah um i look on instagram for my challenges and i tend to use a um uh, uh, instagrammer called bujo challenges okay they repost a lot of the challenges that are out there and if you see any that they haven't posted you know tag them because i find that if you tag them they tend to put them up within a day or so um so yeah if you've seen any challenges online that bujo challenges doesn't have send them a tag you know or just tag them in the comments or something and they'll get it up and they you know they tend to post the most common ones so yeah hmm, i got a few i got a few likes um yeah so yeah they're, they're all on bujo challenges um doohickey so uh i usually just look there instead of hunting around all over for them and um somebody commented i can't find it all oh, right Yeah, that, that artsy doodle challenge, the idea is is that you choose your destination. It can be a place you've been, a place you've always wanted to go, where you live, or even a made up place. Tag friends who should do this challenge with you. So, yeah, it's the, um, it seems like it could be quite in depth. I'm, I may actually not do that one. So we'll see. But yeah, there's loads on, on the Bujo Challenges um, uh, Instagram page. So if you fancy joining in on any of those, go for it. And um, yeah, if you fancy joining me on mine, then, you know, feel free. I keep thinking I might make a challenge, but it's just, I never get around to it. So one thing I am thinking about doing is making a pocket in the cover of my book. To hold things like these letters and shit that come home from the school. I want to keep them. The only trouble is, of course, the letters are exactly the same size as my pockets. In fact, I should probably overspill a little bit. So I'm not really sure how to do it. If I fold them again, it makes them awfully bulky. Especially when you consider that I've got pages upon pages of letters to put aside. So I'm not really sure. I just want to keep them for the you know the, the memory side of it thoughts how can i keep all the letters and i want to keep them with the july book you know so for example this one that was about the trip to private wood well you 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 cut off the bottom bit and send it back to the school but then i'll have this which i suppose once i fold So it's it's still going to be obviously the the width of the book. So I don't know, you know. I suppose I could fold it that way, and then it would it be cut off there, and then it would fit just. Yeah, that one would. But then you've got other ones where you know they are you know from the school and that that I would like to keep. So, yeah, if you've got any ideas on how to do it without making it too bulky, I don't want to just tuck them there because, you know, if the book gets dropped, they get lost. I would like a little envelope or something. I'm thinking of maybe doing, you know, like the tuck pocket you get at the back of Scribbles that Matter and Leutrums. I'm thinking something like that, but I'm thinking of top pocket, and then it doesn't matter if they stick out. What do you think? Yeah, put it on the front page or the back page or something and just make it the width of the, the front cover so it would be that wide and then it, it would essentially sort of it would look like that it would look like a pocket but on the front cover so, and I can just then come along with whatever and tuck it in it's probably you know for the majority of them it's going to be too not wide enough in trouble when you use a5 so i'm i am gonna have to fold stuff aren't i so there's just no way around it really have you got any better ideas other than a pocket 
because this is something I do want to start doing in all my books, is having a pocket so that stuff that's relevant to that particular month can go in these pockets. Let me know. Let me know. Okay. Right. I'm going to finish um, decorating July. There is a video coming for that. Um, I don't know if it'll come tonight, but it's on its way. And um, I'm going to do a little bit of journaling. And um, I think I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired and I've had enough. That's Jupiter, by the way. And my banana. Yeah, okay. Take it easy, guys. And I'll see you in Monday's edition of today.